Good day, teacher Joy and classmates. This topic is about teenagers having a during puberty stage. These early teenage years, there's a lot of changes in physical, emotional, cognitive, and social. During this time, teenage bodies, emotions, and identities change in different ways at different times. But physical changes in teenagers for girls start happening as young as 11 years. These are some physical changes in puberty are breast development, changes in body shape and height, growth of pubic and body hair, and the start of period. For boys, physical changes usually start around 11 to 12 years, but any time between 9 and 14 years is normal. These are some changes are changes in body shape and height, growth of pubic, body and facial hair, and voice changes. In emotional changes in teenagers, we might notice the show strong feelings and intense emotions at different times, moods are not predictable. All these emotional ups and downs can lead to increased conflicts. This is partly because the child's brain is still learning how to control and express emotions. In a grown-up way, I, myself, moves through puberty. These emotional mood swings will begin to settle. I and other teenagers are some sensitive to our emotions. Being more self-conscious as moves through the teenage years. Especially about our physical appearance. I might and other teens go through a stage of acting without thinking our decision. Making skills are still developing. In social changes, most of us nowadays we are busy working out who we are and where we fit into the world. We are on the stage of searching for identity. But 2020 is a big sh challenge to us since it is pandemic, so we are facing a new normal life. Seeking more independence is common. We are more likely to look for new experiences, even risky ones. But as I said earlier, due to COVID-19, we need to stay home. So, being with my friends and classmates can be done through a social media. It's an easiest access to greet and asking how. How do you feel but sometimes it's unhealthy? We're thinking more about right 
and young adults. And old people's words and actions still shape our child moves towards adulthood. We'll have a strong sense to our influence by my friends, especially when it comes to behavior, sense to self, and self-esteem. To be honest, I am still on this process of molding my confidence towards people. In changes in teenage relationships with family and peers will through big changes and shifts. But maintaining strong relationships with both family and friends is important for healthy social and emotional development. So of all this, a strong relationship with my family is an important foundation for building my and our resilience. This is Mark Rubini, grade 5 student. Thank you for watching. God bless everyone and stay safe. Bye.